This conference will now be recorded. So, uh, welcome to the Blaine County Board of Commissioner meeting for September 16th. I need to excuse uh, Cameron McGill and Ray Britt from tonight's meeting. I also want to uh, share and do a moment of silence before uh, Mr. Bullock prays for Dr. Delano Banks, who passed away yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, we'll do a moment of silence and then Mr. Oscar Lewison prayer and Dr. Ulysses and the Pledge of Allegiance. Can you please stand? Dear yeah, Father, we call on your holy and righteous name once again. We're here today to represent the community and the citizens of Bladen County. We ask for your guidance and your wisdom that we would do information and prepare information that's great for all the citizens of Bladen County. Grant us the insight to make decisions that will benefit all the residents. Help us to listen with open hearts and minds, understand diverse pers perspectives, and work together for the common good. Father, we ask that you continue to bless the citizens of Bladen County, bless all the county commissioners, those that cannot be here tonight, we ask you to bless them as well. And when we leave here, Father, we ask for safe travel as we travel back to our various destinations. All this we ask in our name, for Christ's sake, amen. Amen. <laughs> Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, Dr. Blank's got a plaque over here, and we got we have we hung a ribbon on her plaque in her memory. Okay. What's the chairman? Before we uh, approve the consent item. I have a couple things I'd like to add. Um, I'd like for us to hold information regarding uh, 2M and 2N. I have some questions I'd like to ask. I don't know what I should do it now or at, at, at later on in the meeting, but I have some statements I'd like to ask about those uh, two items. Which one was it? M and N. M and N. Um. But can we just is it, can we just remove them to the next agenda? Okay, okay with me. Maybe we can put it under matters of interest. Okay. I don't know if you've got program well, here to answer the questions. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Whatever well, you do, it is. I just have this a rush that's got to be done, or or. Yeah, I mean, one of them. One of them. Yeah. All right, we'll move the we'll move the M and uh, M and N M and N under uh, commissioners and. We met my end up able in that. Okay, that's good. We're in the matter of interest. Yeah, so that's okay. That's good. We're going to move the M&N. We also need to remove um, five trim and six of uh, Terry Jennison. Off motion, Mr. Chairman, regarding the consent items to move them later on in, in the agenda, M&N, &N, and also uh, the information you mentioned about number five and six in the motion. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. Bullock, second from Scott. Do any more discussion? All favor say aye. 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 All opposed. <coughs> so at this time, we're going to do special recognition to Miss Jackie. Yes. Good morning. She is ready. Get ready. We'll do the flash first and Terry can do it. So in grateful appreciation to Jackie Dennis for the dedicated service to the people of Blaine County as a WIC nurse. B H N. I love like health nurse. Health nurse. <laughs> and they won't mess it up. <laughs> Presented by the Blaine County Board of Commissioners given the 16th day of September 2024. Years of service November 2003 through August 2024. So, Mrs. Dennis, thank you so much for the service you provided. Thank you. Okay. So, Jackie, you're going to be the nurse. You have 
push the lives of so many. And for those of you that don't know, Jackie actually started in the hospital before she went to public health. You did too. <laughs> We've known each other a long time, even before we became nurses. But we could stand here for days and talk about the impact that you've had in public health. There's no way that we can measure today what you have done. Jackie, you have been for children in child health immunizations. Um, particularly during COVID, Jackie had, uh, we said it was Santa Claus when the, what we thought was going to be a huge box. Jackie had this little box with a hundred doses of COVID vaccine that we we're supposed to let 30,000 people have. Um, but maintain composure and compassion and dedication the entire time you've been with us. Jackie was also our cheerleader. If, if we, <laughs> had a reason to celebrate. It was, remember we need to celebrate. And how are we gonna celebrate? Help us celebrate. And Jackie, I hope that for you in this sixth chapter of your life, that you get to deserve all the blessings and rewards that you deserve for what you have given us. Particularly on those long lines of the flu drive. And she helps bring out these big old cases and that you don't have to go to a shelter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember that if you decide you want to come back in a little bit, please let us know. Jackie, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Uh, I'm proud to have served the citizens of Flagon County for this period of time. Um, it, it has been an honor. I was for public hearing to receive comments around uh, bar, uh, Blaine Aerial Transportation Barks. I declared a public hearing open. I declare the public hearing closed and I to be as consider approving the 2025 rule operating system. Problem. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Mark, okay. second by Mr. Hester. Any discussion? All favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Individual delegation wish to address the board. Matters of interest to Commissioner. Let's take care of these items. Uh, uh, okay. Um, let's see. The end of contract agreement with Nancy Thornton that for the benefit of Bart. My question was, uh, I think we need more information in regards to this. Uh, why is the contract is needed? How did we arrive at that fact that we needed the contract? Uh, I'm on the board, the Bart uh, Advisory Council. I never heard of this. So I was wondering that you're know, getting more information. Uh, was there a bidding process as to how we would select someone to do that? So, uh, no, I can. I think I can respond to Terry can finish it out. So, you know, the division agent is no longer with us. And this lady was recommended by the state to come in there and help us get our, all our records and everything together. So, she was a recommendation from the, the state. So, this is what this contract is to help us. Backfield where that division agent director left. Oh, so it's just temporary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, 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 I thought that's enough. I don't know what you're going to do based on that. Well, well I mean, that's all I know. I, mean, I don't know her name, but when you stop talking about it, I figured this. Yeah, I was looking at Terry. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on that board directly. I've never heard anything about this. <laughs> so, uh, do we need to approve that now? Can we make a motion if you're satisfied? We need to approve it. So it's just temporary, you say, right? Yes, a lady from the state, retired lady from the state that's come and help us. Retired health director, they gave us several names. Um, she actually is the one that was retired and lives close to us. She came down and met with us and met with the team. And um, it is for a very short period of time to help us get some things in line. Okay. We okay. have you advertised in that position. Appear, right? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. We've got, we, we got to get some things. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Motion to approve. Mo motion to, to approve. Second. Yeah. Second. Second. Uh, 
And then you have a discussion. I'm about to say I. I'm opposed. And M is. Uh, N is. Um, N was about. Oh, we we increasing their salaries, right? What this is is that I think this is division of agent also. Yeah. So there's opening positions over there, and there's one lady that's been here twenty some years. Mm -hmm. We got to bump her up. So that the ones coming in here and new don't make more than she does. Okay. It's just adjusting the compensation because because of the the new pay scale. That's all they okay. Have. Now, now, would that be a negative impact on our budget? Well, I mean, it's going it's going to cost a little more. Yeah, it, ain't, it ain't that much. I don't know what. Yeah, less salary. Oh, because those are gone. Those are gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Most people. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. On the realignment, I'm looking at realigning three salaries. Yeah. What these three salaries the system was saying uh, is the rest of the. the Guys in the form is going to see an impact for this realignment? Um, no, it's just that these three, three positions are three people because they're now under a um, different salary phrase, and we just put aligning everybody on the same salary phrase. Um, if you're doing the plan that we got, would well, you say no, three steps ahead of one another? It's, it's, it's current employees that are in a, a, a pay step yeah. that's got to be bumped up so that the new employees. Don't make more than the other. So that can I? Well, my thing is, the, right. what's the PA? What's the PA for? Well, uh, person to, okay, and then you have the home age. Okay. And so that, like, for example, if somebody come in now, they won't make that amount. They'll have about a third, of yeah. three fourths. How much? Not much. It's just well, a it's if y'all remember a couple of years ago when we the minimum fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. right? All these positions moved up except for these individuals mm -hmm. that we're looking at. Now the completion is catching up with us, and we've got to get on that. That makes sense. We should have done that. Those three are going to align everything to keep that pay increase that we want to accept. That's correct. And they deserve it. Motion to approve the uh, consent item to end. Second. Second by Dr. O'Keefe. One of these questions. All favor say aye. aye. Thank you for the opportunity to get that. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, that M is coming to me after you sit and start talking. Yeah. So we're at Matters of Interest Commission. Anyway, I'm studying Matters of Interest. And yeah, the, this to make sure that everybody knows that the guys will gonna be here Wednesday. And I think Cameron said he can make it at four. Do you guys want to? They, they was asking since that they were coming in that morning at 10 o'clock to look at properties. It's already on the agenda for us. Okay, do y'all want to do it? Keep it there, stay at 4 o'clock. Yeah, we're, we can't change it. I don't know. Yeah, I already thought that. Yeah, Let's say at 4 o'clock. Okay. So, I had uh, somebody ask me today. They were, I, I think it's more like Charles Reverend saying something just to find out if we can. Um, that some of the way sites like I think Live Oak and also over here at Wards, right here on Highway 53, that the oil and gas um, drums and the tire uh, area where you can dispose of them like roped off and have uh, like no entry or that kind of thing. So he was just basically trying to find out, you know, how come, um, bless you. You know, because he had oil to dispose of, and just you know, I guess he didn't go to the main station, but I was just trying to find out about. I just need to verify how how people were supposed to dispose of oil. And yeah, because they thought it was like four tires a week that you were allowed to, and then oil and gas. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll get that at least. Okay. Chairman, probably working with that for is uh, obtaining a boss director and. Director of Divisional Agent, how how's all, that going? All that's advertising. That's all. Do you are you getting the uh, individual to apply? We are getting individuals to apply. Yes, sir. Um, for both positions. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I got one thing. Something that we consistently have people call me about all the time, all the time. I get calls all the time, and I know we can't help it. We don't pro state highway. But some kind of way, we need to come up with some kind of plan. Look for some funds, 
something to deal with ditches. Everybody talking about it, saying the thing is that they don't have a problem with going on, but whenever they have a rain like today, I found them blowing up the hooks. He was saying the water is just backing up in the ditches, and we need to go and figure out how to implement something. So we won't have so many citizens talking about these the houses and yards are flooded, and they say it's because of the runoff from the ditches. They say you go to the ditches, they stop there. You be there one side of the ditch, over here is over, and the other side stop there. Right now, we're doing everything we can on that. DX is where Dean's working on new money. We're doing everything we can do. If you got any better solution, county's not in the ditch business. All we can do is try to get help from DOT or see if Dean's got money. I mean, and we're doing everything we can do, doing everything they can do on that. I mean, I'm just, you know, I think I think of anything different, let me know, but I mean, that's, that's where we're at. Nobody don't have the equipment to maintain a ditch. And one of them things that go up on the ditch, and that's what we closed up on. He started, but I'm telling you, I came to Car Hill. I mean, the whole 87 is flooded from Smith all the way down the highway. And it's very unsafe. Then here on Peanut Road, you can't oh, yeah. pass that. And, the, and wait a minute, I know that's the town. I guess it's the town. No. Versus 
them having to cut it because you don't worry about fire protection and all that stuff in there if you start cutting all that. Because that metal's thick. No, in there does. So that's the auction company. That's the auction company. Yeah. Then, me and you got anybody look at the demolition on I got somebody looking at it, but I ain't got no price on it. I'm just talking about selling the, selling the, the metal in there right now. They might want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we do is need to hear and see what it's going to so, do. So, I want to get a committee. I, and, and we don't have to meet this week. But maybe we can meet Wednesday or whoever wants to come. Maybe we can meet after that four o'clock meeting or if somebody differently wants to be part of this. There's there's a few jobs in the county that, that we really got to look at and see how we can, some some of these jobs can be formed differently. And I want to share that with whoever wants to sit sit down there and share, let me share it with and get your view on it. And then we will bring it back if we decide to bring it back to the commissioner. But there's, a, there's some people just got the place too full. We got we, we need to consider splitting it out and doing it a different way. I would, if you're going to do it on Wednesday, I'm going to do it after. Mm -hmm. How long does that mean going to last? Hours? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do the presentation. Sure. Okay, okay, so who wants to come? I need some different people now at 5 o'clock. What section are you on there? You're talking about? I'm talking about our Perfect. commissioner comment. I need. I'm gonna put a group of people together and look at some personnel. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Okay, I'm Mark. Personnel. Sorry, personnel. I we never met. met. That, that, I said that, we already put the personnel thing good. We never met. That, that, that group never met. Y'all never met. We, we do on a new group, new day. <laughs> All right. Well, how many you got? Let's tell how many you got already. I got Mark and the doc and did you raise your hand? I may do which name. I'm not gonna tell them. Rodney, that's three. Yeah, I'll I'll do one more. No, no, you can do okay. I'll do one more. So it's going to be Mr. Rodney, Mark, Mr. Arthur, and Doc. Yeah, we're going to have no, no, me. And that's how I want to. No, that's all I got to back out. Somebody got to back out. I'll back out. I'll back out. I'll back out. All right. Rodney, myself, Mark, and Mr. Bullock. Not on this. Why would she be there if you talk about shipping personnel? She's personnel. I, I, this is something that I have been working on. I have not involved HR in this because I want to get to see if there's any interest in it before got anybody involved and anybody know about it. That's the reason I ain't involved HR. Oh, okay, I'm interested. This is yeah, after I win the meeting. We got two o'clock. There's nothing to get anybody else involved unless y'all want to do it. And I don't want nobody to. No, this has got to stay in house too, because I don't want nothing. You know, we get ready to do it. We're gonna take that advice okay. over back to personnel, right? Preliminary shopping. Preliminary. Today we're gonna to do the 18th. Freeze the halls on the 18th. So we're doing all this Wednesday now, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm not there. I'm going home. Oh yeah, but I'm saying a two o'clock meeting, four o'clock. Two o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. Okay, what's eight? What's eight? Eighteen. Eighteen. That's Wednesday. Oh, oh. You coming anyway? We're just gonna come early and stay late. Okay. That's Wednesday. Okay. I'm looking at Oxy. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm having to move dog over here. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Four o'clock. Two o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. All right. So the next matters of interest is uh, information regarding the proposed amendment to the Blaine County Ordinance regarding pro prohibited of carrying deadly weapons. I read that and I'm trying to figure out the significance of what we're doing. I just think that clear into my mind. Okay. What are you talking about doing when you say it? No. Where they can't carry them on what property? I thought we already had a man off premises. So, what are you talking about? Uh, Chris, uh, sure, but I don't know. So, essentially, the ordinance, the ordinance states that it's illegal to have a deadly weapon on county owned property. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. County owned property is courthouse. I mean, the courthouse and or sheriff's department. So what, what has been occurring um, is that when, when guns are confiscated through domestic violence protective orders or for whatever other reason, and then they're actually released to a court order, these individuals go to the sheriff's department most of the time to pick them up. Well, at some point in time, there is a, in that few minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, however long that exchange may occur, that person might be actually in possession of uh, those firearms on county-owned property. Right. So there was a little 
Uh, then we're just trying to clean that up. But at no time can the person actually have access to the ammo and the firearm at one time to where they can turn the corner and put it together or, you know, or something along that nature. But it was brought to our attention by the chairman. Uh, I, I'm not sure how it got brought to your attention or, or by someone. I mean, it came to my desk, but I mean, I'm just. Um, how are they supposed to be dispensed? Then? Sir? How are they supposed to be returned and dispensed back? It's just basically clarifying that you're not in violation of that ordinance for the purposes of retrieving your firearm from a legal from a legal retrieval. You don't have permission to pick up the gun. Yeah. So what was happening is that they could they were technically in violation of this ordinance by being on county owned property and picking up their car. And so we were making it to where they're not in violation of that ordinance so long as they don't have both the um, the capability of, of loading that farm at the same time that they're that they're being given back to the law yeah. the lawful owner and then the lawful owner promptly removes himself from the county on property. So they got to come one time and get the gun and come back another time and get damage. Well at least at least inside, correct. And I don't have the if you got done. Normally they don't give them back the ammo. And it, 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 again, I mean it's the it's a possession of a lawful firearm. And it doesn't really say that's just the ammunition. The ammunition right. might, might be overstepped there. It's just the firearms. Right. So it's not action, not anyways. So I was, Cameron caught, Mr. McGill called me, and, and I didn't know a whole lot about it. So I asked Jeff Singer to call him. So if anybody wants more information, I'll be glad to get Jeff to call you. It also some kind of kind of Alan looked over to I did the policy and he he probably knows as much as Jim does, so he just shared as much as we did. had one of our employees had it um over at the health department and he was some police officer and nobody said anything. He said he had permission. I'm not aware of an employee that had a kind of weapon with him over at the health department. Here it every day. Hmm? There's a veteran right. Who would come up? A veteran's office carries a weapon every day. I can, I'm more than happy to look into that whether or not that, and I, take, I take it he has, well, I'll, I'll look into that. That's first I've had knowledge. Well, you gotta make sure this other one doesn't do it. Yes, and, and if, he's, okay. if he's lawfully allowed to carry that and whether or not that trumps the, uh, our ordinance is an issue on that, but I'll be more happy to look at that. And make sure because the other one might be doing the same thing. But well, you don't want to open up Pandora's box either right. where everybody can just send right. on, on county on property because mm -hmm. even though. You might have a concealed carry gun permit. The laws of the, the North Carolina carry concealed permit. Like even if I, perhaps, if I, for example, if I had one, I still cannot lawfully carry it into this courthouse. Right. In certain places, you cannot carry it into. Uh, even though he's an employee with the, uh, I know he said the veterans office, where I'm mm -hmm. not. That's the first I've heard of that, and I'll be more happy really? to, to look into that. And I'm only saying because the other guy may be doing it too. So if that, he's the other guy, the new veterans officer. Yeah, but who's the other guy? Larry. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's your thought? Okay, we but make me full. Let him know, because you want to make sure. He's yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's what we're mm -hmm. but, but the only reason I was trying to figure out, not to make that, but who was, who was going to be allowed to carry a weapon on the property? What? Like, you got a dog catcher that comes in to help. No one. Who has a gun? Whoever flies Yeah, this, this applies to not necessarily employees. This, this ordinance, this is fine to put public, more or less, for when they're going to retrieve a firearm, you know, from a lawful order. And, and most of the time, this applies to domestic violence protective orders because they, they issue a lot of those weekly, and the court system does. And part of that, part of those orders state that the sheriff's department go and retrieve that person's firearms until it's all worked out. Those firearms are then subsequently taken back to the sheriff's department, and 90% of those cases do get worked out. Um, and, and then people try, then talk to me to go get my guns. Well, if they go get it and they're walking, you know, and at that few minutes there, that could be a violation. That's an example. I'm trying to say, let's just clean that up. Had the airport. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll check on those. I don't know who all's carrying guns. We'll find yeah. out. Yeah, uh, county employees are right there. I love that. Dr. McGowan's all around. Send that to Marie so she can forward everybody. I will for you to find out. The reason I was saying, because I was looking at teachers the time I. Teachers like, it's only the people that's. It's yes. only the people that the courts has confiscated their weapons that they supply to. I want to make sure we right. have an employee in my department on campus. Yeah. No, no, no. That, 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 that's totally so smart, but, yeah. but I mean, that's a good point that I'm going to throw up there. That probably be like, we'll check. We'll check. We'll check. So this will be an action item next. 
meeting. Mm -hmm. But if you got questions, let us know now. I'm just trying to explain a little better if you need it. Okay. If you need more explanation. Mm -hmm. Adeline, on the they feel job. free to email me or call me. Absolutely. Okay. Nine is Upgorge, Upgorge Settlement Fund. Consider adopting uh, the Blaine County Upgorge Strategic Plan. It's a pleasure to the board. I said motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Cardell, second by Mr. Ellis. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Mm -hmm. And uh, consider adopt the resolution to direct expenditures of, expenditures of the Up George Settlement Funds. And we are, by, motion by Mr. Ellis, second by Mr. Ellis. And we approved the budget last last week. Can, can we be right. have access to that budget? You got it, it was received the last month. Mm -hmm. We'll resend it. It's in here, but it hasn't. Yeah, okay, no problem. Okay. So this next one, Joey's not here. Uh, last time I heard from Joey, he was going to Brunswick County and take some high, high, high tire trucks to help them down there. So what this is, is he's got $750,000 grant. You know, all we gotta do is approve it, the MO yeah. agreement. Yeah. The $750,000 for the generator at West Blaine High School for Hurricane. Children use. They both have them already? We didn't get but one. Much by Mr. Bless the second by Mr. Hester. Any discussion? He's working on more money, Doc. That's the installation costs and everything, right? Yes, yes. I can't believe it costs that much for you. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. All opposed? 11 is finance department. Evening to each of you. We're going to review the dashboard for ending August 31st. Um, if you'll look in the August numbers too, they are they still have in there some of the rollbacks that's going to go back into June because of a timing issue. I, I didn't have time to get them done. So the revenues in the general fund were 23.14% of revenues of collected, and we've spent 1521 at solid waste, we've collected 39.29% of revenues and spent 11.66. Merchant telephone, we've collected 4.57 and spent 17.05. And at the water department, we've collected 16% and spent almost 10. Any questions on that? And at the sheriff's department, with the federal inmate money, uh, we did make the bond payment um, in August. So right now we're in the hole, but um, it's balancing itself out each month. Um, through the first two months, we had an average of 69, and then today we had 55 federal inmates in the field. When we have vacant positions, like like right now, the two we're looking for different positions throughout the county, do that reflect on? I know it has to reflect on the budget because we have appropriated the money for all of those. Right. We haven't spent it, so it doesn't show up in expenditures. But can we? Do we how do we know when that's coming to a max? I'm trying to figure out sometimes how we, we how do we stand with employees? That's that work. How could, do we know if we have max for 10 short, 15 short? Right now short, we've got what? 30, 37? 30, 37. 37 people short, but we budgeted for those 37 people, right? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to figure out when we and, know when that money is. Getting. And here's the problem we end up having, like, like with these two positions that, at Division on Aging. If we don't have those positions filled, just like with this grant position, we can ask for reimbursement from that. If we don't have the positions filled, we don't get reimbursed. So it cuts on our revenues. So we 37 people short in the budget. That's right. So that does that reflect in your budget anywhere that we can see? It just shows that it, we haven't spent as much money. Sure. See, like like if you look at the budget, the budget dashboard, it says we're supposed to be at 17%. And you look down, I'm just going to go to, to um, Bart's admin, because that'll be the one who'll show us. We haven't spent the 9.58% of the budget. The reason I was asking, you answered the question, I'm trying to figure out how do we know what's the status of the employee going on inside the county? Yeah. I thought yeah. we were going to get a report. Then. How do we know how many? I, I know you showed us <clears> the report. <throat> we don't get a report. It's kind of what's missing. Did you get that report we talked about? We did. Let's talk to you. We send the commissioners a, a week or two, every week or two or something. Yeah, they don't know what's missing because you don't even know. You think I'm thinking you're running that max, so you're running fine, but then you tell me those seven people short. Be short. Uh, 
I have I have told the department head if that if the money is designated and it comes from the state, it comes from the county, we need to fill these positions. And we need to fill these positions with contractors on something that can what with contractors that can do the job. We've got to get these some of these people some relief. So I told them to do it now. Okay. The reason I'm saying you're talking about realignment and have the conversation about taking the stress off some of the employees. I'm trying to figure out what, what stress is there. Well, I'll, I'll share that with you, Mark. I mean, Wednesday. You will, but let me, but, okay, okay. I'll so share my time, piece, though, Yeah, okay, but I'm still saying, though. But we still, at the time, don't just mind getting anyone? Or are they just trying to find? So we're getting applicants in, and we, we are advertising to get applicants, but we're having some issues with the applicants being able to start to retire out. That's going to increase, and um, it just things just occurring. We come, people leave for various reasons. So that means your attrition. You still got to keep hiring, hiring, hiring. Yeah. But at the same time, so what are we doing proactive? I mean, so are we, doc, that's what I was that's trying, trying to tell you. Okay. We got, I know three contractors that we contract with for labor, mm -hmm. and I told them to fill these slots with these contractors. They still advertise and still select mm -hmm. employees. You get employees, and we we hire them, and we let the contractor go. But trying to get get them to hire people in these slots that's open. I got you, but I'm saying at the same time though, what are we doing for after? That's are we it. Going to school? I mean, I'm going to university, or are you going to fair chair? I mean, fair. Uh, fair job fair. fair. She just kind of left. I'm going to job fair. People, but I'm telling you, people are not really coming to the <laughs> Okay. So, so we go. Okay. The, the, reason I'm asking, the only reason I asked the question was the financial thing. And okay. I was trying to get got that been positioned. If we as commissioners, maybe we could direct people here right now and tell people, I don't know if they pulled down there or not. So, Mr. Cogdale, it's all on the website. They advertise the jobs. All you got to do is go to the website and it'll tell you what job opens mm -hmm. in a year. And someone calls, you can refer them to the website. And you can see all the openings, right? Yeah, yeah. See all the 29 okay. jobs. I looked at it today. 29 yeah. jobs. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah. 29 jobs. A lot of them. Well, some, yes, yeah, some, yeah. some, some, some. We're coming to work. So the proactive piece is, is using these contractors so we can find problems. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Advisory Board, Beaver Management Program 3. What's the pleasure of the board? Uh, Reappoint. Reappoint by Mr. Cogdale, exactly. State Member, Mr. Bullock, any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Um, so it be as Clark and Fire Department. <coughs> but look, Mr. Russ passed away and we're going to appoint. Who is it? Josh Dorsey. Josh Dorsey. 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 I called Kip on this plane beautiful today to see where he was because we I gave it to him last time. He he's nowhere. So I Mr. know Mr. Chairman, is this something we can just ask? Well let me finish. <laughs> he is the, he is our representation as a staff person for for this the basketball. I told him, I asked him to please fill it or bring a recommendation back next month because we done told this thing several times. So we, I hope we can deal with it next. Motion yeah, okay. table one more time. Uh, motion table. Second by Mr. Glass, second by Mr. Uh, Book. Any discussion? Okay, uh, all favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Watershed Review Board, Doc. I recommend the report. 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 By Dr. Glass, second by Doc. I'm going. Thanks for the vote. Thanks for the vote. You moved up. That's a pay. 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 Second by Mr. Glass, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Voluntary Culture District 2. Thank you. No pay there. Volunteer. Motion to reappoint. Motion to reappoint. Mr. Glass. Second by Mr. Bullock. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. So next month, next meeting, 20, October 21st, we're going to do Keep Blame Beautiful Child Fatality Prevention Center. Yeah. Isn't there some requirements on that, uh, Marie? So we need to, can we get the requirements out to everybody yeah, on that inside that district for one thing? That's one requirement. I don't know what it is. I think that drain. You got to be a little inside. She's going to send it to us. That's one. 
And then the White Lake Landing Zone, he won there. So the calendar review. Okay, so the day is So they they still got the walk to remember at the community college. It's all it's all month. Right? On, on the to the twenty third. And I, I think what they got is uh, flags there and they got um people talking or got some type of display showing you the time it happened and all this stuff. So I hadn't done it, but it, it looks, uh, it sounds like it's a pretty good thing to do. So the 18th is the walk. Uh, we're meeting at four o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. And then the walk to remember. The Dublin Peanut Festival is Saturday. Parade starts at 10 o'clock. So it'd be nice to get up and ride the parade. And walk around. 22nd, 23rd is the walk. Uh, 28th, Harmony Hall, Fall Reunion, the 28th and the 29th. Oh, geez, who knows what that consists of? I meant by the end of the building. They have it at the place I knew. We'll try to get some more information if you want to. The Harmony Hall. 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 We'll do that. October the third is the Community College Foundation Annual Dinner at Cape Fear Winery. How much is that per person? You know, hundred dollars is it? Hundred dollars. Thanks. Yeah. Need 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 to reach back. Uh, fall festival Saturday, October the fifth, the Pink Out at the Camp Clearwater. Five o'clock to nine is Farm Road Alumni Association Black and Gold Celebration. This is their first Farm Road Alumni Association. And I ain't got my ticket, but ticket $35. They're supposed to send me your thing today. So that would be good if you could attend that. Tickets $35. You know, we, might, and we give them a lot of money so you can see the improvements made there if you get to go. 14th is a blood drive, Kicker Valley, Health and Human Service meets 14th. Uh, health Fair. Cape Fear Valley, Blaine County Hospital, 10 to 2. You can go to that. The 21st is special meeting regarding the report to the people. That's the Powell Melvin. That's at 4 30. That's where we go to go to Yep. 6.30 is the I think they feed us too. Yeah. They get next year. 6.30 is the Board of Commissioner meeting. 25th and 26th is the Beast Festival. Oh, thank you. Any delegation wish to address the commission? Oh, uh, matters of interest commissioner. Anything we forgot? Yeah, anything else we're going to close today? School attorney, comp, privilege, and personnel. So, second. Much by Mr. Cogdell, second by Mr. Gillespie. Any discussion? Or if you want to take a two or three minutes. This back, conference but. will now be recorded. Danny, to my close section, I just need a motion for Danny about the make a motion to meet before the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. meet at five thirty before the next regular meeting for uh, commission meeting. Commission meeting. Motion by Mr. Evans, second by second. Doctor Ruby Montgomery's. Any discussion? October seventh. Would that be close session? Do we have to go in closed session? Come in, then go in closed session? Yes, we call the meeting. We'll call the meeting order and then we'll recess it after closed session. Right. Well, adjourn after closed session. Well, we got a meeting right after that. Can't recess? What's your question? I'm sorry. You're it depends on if you, if you still have business to conduct. I mean, recess to come out here and do our regular monthly meeting. No, you don't no, recess. You, you, just, you just come out of closed session. Just come session. out of closed session. Yeah, just come right. out of closed session. And then you have to open the 630 meeting. Yeah. Yeah.